Uh, Crafty says, uh, tree house living, all right? Oh, don't get the neighbor's houses. Don't give too much information, ever. TMI, TMI. Silencio. Oh, it looks like a, a closed eye. Do you see that? Grant Glorious rising to all oh, you beautiful souls. I just love you all so much. I'm gonna record a reading and upload one later. But I'm trying to get my routine down and every time they tell my dad don't come to work right now because the students are doing online classes at the University of Illinois. They don't need him very much. Here, I'll let you guys see me for a little bit. I'm getting ready to do my, my workout, my yoga, my Pilates, my hula hoop therapy, microdose therapy, keep dancing, keep singing. Fasting and praying, always. Faith that you move mountains. And when those stubborn mountains won't move, sometimes you just gotta move around them. Not gonna stay long. I just want you guys to know that I will upload a video. My smart self, who read August 11th on August 10th, uh, a short-term memory loss from trauma and stress. Stress activates it. I hope anybody that's watching this will learn something. Today, in the language of letting go, is about directness. Those who have no filter, we don't have a mask and a facade. Don't ask me my opinion if you don't want to hear it. Because I study abnormal psychology. Me and my ex, the one in Nevada, Probably 2010, uh, at, at the, with the clock ticking on the due, due date for online classes, I was taking abnormal psychology. And we would look up the answers together and find them and do the quiz. Pop, it wasn't a pop quiz. I had all this time to do the quiz. Study, read my book, study. Instead, we crammed it in an hour before it's due. Right about the time I stood up to my brutally cruel, abusive, cheater, trucker, tweaker, Jason Eli. The book of Eli. He'll kick you while he's down. Yes, he will. He will sucker punch you so hard and then call you a bitch and tell you to quit crying while you can't breathe on the floor and kick you while you're down there. The day I stood up to him is the day Heather got her groove back. I turned around and looked at a man who is a footin', uh, he's six foot four, 225 pounds. I'm five foot three and a half. Don't forget that half. 140 pounds, 50 pounds I probably was then, a Vicodin addict because of the abuse. When the other guy swooped in like Superman and saved the day, abnormal psychology, we studied it right about that time. And we were so in tune, we would synchronistically text each other at the same time. No joke. Even back then, 2010. Because my dog was born, I got her right before that. She was given to me as a gift in the trailer. That was given to me for a dollar. I moved out of my parents' house. So I could get abused. 
Uh, seriously. And the neighbors always heard, and the neighbors never did a thing. I told any of my male friends, don't talk to me, don't acknowledge me, don't even look at me if I see you and he's around, please. He was on all these dating sites, seeing women all over in many states as a trucker to buy him Sudafed for the cooks. He's a cook. So, as Alanis Moore said, it was just playing. Thank you. Thank you, silence. Thank it, it's illusionment. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you for calling me to study abnormal psychology and trauma in borderline personality disorder and theatrical displays, attention-seeking behavior. You wanna know some attention-seeking behavior? There are straight women who have children and a man who go to prison and because they don't like themselves and they need attention so badly, they become gay for the state. And these little stud broads are predators to the women with money. Uh, they will wine them and dine them with commissary and mickle meals and everything. If you feed me, I'll please you. <laughs> and I would just sit and watch all this human behavior all my life, absorbing why, what happened. Why do we hate ourselves so much that we have to explain every single detail for approval or acceptance? I was listening to Brene Brown. She's the author of I Thought It Was Just Me, But It Isn't. I read it in prison. Daring greatly and rising strong and daring greatly. It's not the critic who counts. The one who points out when the other man stumbles, Theodore Roosevelt. It's the one whose face is marred with blood and sweat and tears, face down in the arena. It's called the man in the arena. I'll get it for you. Who strives valiantly and gets back up and looks Grown men, six foot four, 225 pounds of rage, meth rage. And looks him dead in the eye and says, you ain't gonna touch me again, I will put you in prison. And that's what I would do with the rest of them. Like a warrior does. She who stands up for herself, a woman of power. She can't be bought off, she can't be controlled, and she can't be manipulated. She who sees through all the facade and the illusion and all the lies, because God gets the glory, not me. The Holy Spirit did this when I chose the Holy Spirit in prison. I told people what I wanted before I came out. This is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. I got told lies, I'm reading the Bible, I'm going to church. Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. So I'm gonna go enjoy my workout. They were doing some crazy X's in the sky yesterday, but I was uploading a video, so I didn't take my phone with me to the store. These look really cool when you're microdosing. Uh, uh, you can see energy. You become like Mary Magdalene asked in the Mary Magdalene movie. What's it feel like to be one with God? Jesus smiled and looked at her and said, nobody has ever asked me that question. What does it feel like? So the quote, I'll type it out and pin it below today. Gladys Q. Kravitz 
Sid, we don't need a lot of things. We need nature. We need to learn to be still. Our souls are tired. We don't need more sleep. We need to get out of the house, put the freaking technology down. She's a digger. She loves to look for rocks. She's in on the land too. She wants in. We all got, we got a whole tribe over here on Twitter for months now, since the beginning of the year. It just keeps coming together. She said, I just gotta be able to dig, is what she said. Oh, look, there's the, the moon. It's in Taurus right now. I'm probably right about the horns. Check it out now. I love you all so much. I'm so proud of all of us. It's you who amazes me. Yes, you, who makes me so proud. All you little superstars. And keep shining. You're a superstar. That's right, you are. We are. And we are. Shine on. Like the moon and the stars and the sun. On and on and on. I'm going now. It's called instant karma. It's going to get you. It's gonna smack you right in the face. Say, so get yourself together. All right? Ah. So we ascend better together when we're speaking the truth about how we feel. I'm feeling a little frustrated. I'm feeling like I need to go dance. All right? Keep dancing. That's all I do. I love you. All so much. I'll upload a video later. Have a blessed and beautiful morning. I'm really working on me today. Every day. And music therapy, art therapy, dance therapy, dog therapy. A uh, best sir, he helps me so much. We run around the house together like we're little kids, chasing each other with a toy, right? His sheep, uh, he's got a sheep and a, a yak. Uh, it's not a buffalo. Yakety yak, don't talk back. Yeah, he's got a lot of toys. And he just loves them. So, I love you all so much. I'll be back later. You have to, I, hold on, wait. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my healing heart. Change my perception, use my words wisely. Thank you, spirit. My healing heart. The more I let go, everything comes to me. I'm not kidding. Stop seeking all the answers. And let the, the healing, let the energy flow through you. Be free flowing. Let go. Adida Samaj, the master breath, says, relax. Nothing is under control. What's the sense in having this information? And worrying about it if there's nothing we can do about a lot of things fear is the enemy face everything and rise Papa Roach or false evidence appearing real appearing real so false evidence appearing real fear is the enemy it lowers our vibration. It keeps you stuck in root chakra. It keeps you stuck in your house watching the same things for days. It keeps us stuck in our rooms, stuck in the bed, stuck in your chair. Best thing I ever do is look myself in the mirror. And when I'm not feeling my best, I ask myself, what are you going to do about it? So I thank everybody for your likes, for your shares, for your subscribes, as we all become brave enough to want to do our healing. We can't run from ourselves. We cannot. We cannot. Shadow work, dark night of the soul, is a requirement for ascension. The rest is ascension prevention. 
You're running from your very own self. I did it for a long time. My best friend Autumn, she's on the run right now from the police. Looking at big time for robberies. Pray for her. There's sirens right now. One ain't dead or alive. She said, I follow me wherever I go. Over and over. We can't run from our own selves. Runaway train, never going back. She's just a small town girl. Uh, all right. Big hugs and love for everybody. Have a beautiful day. I love you all so much.